Welcome to day 10 of the April daily vlog. Today I wanted to talk about, I guess, intention, motivation. I wanted to share with me the, the fact that, I'm not sure if you can see these. See, I have kind of, like my, I have kind of long nails. But if you look at the base, let me get this in front of the camera. Um, I bit my fingernails for 40 some years. And last year I was finally able to break the habit. Now how I broke the habit was not just stopping biting my nails, just, you know, going cold turkey. Um, I can give you, I w I'll add some tips on how I did that. But today I wanted to discuss a little bit more of the cause. Like I think some people when they're trying to deal with habits or certain behaviors that they have, they're not looking underneath that or the intention or the motivation behind it. Um, I've tried quitting, you know, biting my fingernails and, and some of the other habits uh, for many, many years, but then I'd always fail. And that's because I wasn't looking at the cause. Um, biting your fingernails is a symptom. It's not a cause. So what I did is I started considering like, okay, why am I biting my nails? Obviously it's a nervous habit. Uh, why am I nervous? That's was really the heart of my problem. Um, I think people tend to fidget. We tend to, you know, I think, you know, as kind of like a hunter gatherer mentality, um, we would be very busy people if we were like out in the wild and stuff. And being that we're not, we keep busy with doing something. So biting fingernails, smoking cigarettes, um, tapping fingers, you know, whatever it's, you're, you're just, you're, you're fussing and trying to work out, uh, tension or stress that might be building up in you. So what you want to do is you want to ask yourself, okay, what's stressing me out? And that's what you have to deal with. That's, that's the heart of your problem. It's not biting fingernails, smoking or anything. It's what causes you to do it in the first place. Um, I think some people with, when they're trying to lose weight, they're dealing with symptoms and not the cause. They're dealing with, um, okay, I'm just going to cut back on eating and try to exercise more, but they're not looking at, it's the relationship they have with food you know, or it's the lack of, uh, it's the reason why they, they're not, uh, active that is the problem. So once you, you find that, then you try to undo bad habits and replace them with something new. So I find that with me, uh, in the past, I would be, for instance, the diet, I would be, uh, what do you call it? Emo like an emotional eater, you know, and sweets specifically. It wasn't just eating. It was, you know, eating, you know, junk food and comfort food and stuff. So what I would do is um, recognize that, you know, even though you're, you're, you're feeding your face, you're feeding that bad emotion and you don't want to feed that. You want to feed good emotion and good emotion is generally fed with more positive actions. Um, now with the fingernails, uh, I found that I had to learn, you know, stop nibbling and fidgeting. And one of the things I would do is I would simply sit and I would do like a minute meditation where I would take deep breaths, long, deep breaths, and it would, and I just sort of visualize whatever agitation I felt kind of pouring out of my body into the earth, you know, and I found that, well, it helped calm me down. Uh, these minute meditations are remarkable for that. Um, and then I lost the urge to nibble on my fingers, but, um, I found that like any sort of chip or snag, um, scratchiness on the nails, I had an urge to smooth it out. Well, biting your fingernails does not smooth that out. So I always carry with me nail clippers with a file. And every time I get that, I, I will uh, file them down. Now with other habits, uh, obviously things with say alcohol and cigarettes, your body is also addicted to it. So there's often a psychological addiction and then there's also a physical addiction. So you'll have to deal with those two sides. If you're going to quit smoking, uh, a lot of smokers who quit will often say that the smoking is a habit where, um, I remember I had a roommate once where he often said that he always smoked when he drank, but he drank a lot. <laughs> so he'd smoke a lot, you know, he drank a lot, um, but, and he didn't see what the problem was. Um, and then with, you know, eating, it could be simply a bad habits of food choices. Like instead of, you know, a, like a high fat breakfast, you might want to focus on, you know, protein instead. Um, or you can adopt better habits where you're eating smaller regular meals through the day. And what that does is it helps you regulate your 
blood sugar so that you don't go into binges. Um, and, and you also have to recognize triggers. Triggers are things that provoke you to do the bad behavior. For me, it was, you know, a snag on the nails, nervousness, or kind of a, you know, like, screw it, you know, it doesn't matter anyway, you know, and so then I would have a step back. It's important to understand you will have setbacks. Anytime you are changing your behavior, you'll stumble and you just have to get back on your feet. It's persistence that gets you to your goal, not perfection. So accept those parts of yourself and then keep moving on and know that you'll reach your goal. Because even with the goal that I've had set with the video, this morning I was just kind of like, <sighs> what's, what's the point? No, nobody's really looking at the videos anyway. But that's not why I, I'm doing the videos. I had to remind myself of that. I'm doing it to get outside of my comfort zone. To There's other reasons. You know, I wanted to, you know, like basically share videos. I wanted it also as an action of like, this is the challenge that I set for these reasons. And I'm going to see it through regardless if there's going to be results or not. It's important to finish it. So I'm, you know, I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> so when you're trying to break bad habits, recognize that um, the causes, recognize if there's like a physical addiction that also needs to be contended with, uh, and recognize that you will stumble along the way. And I find that it will take a long time. It did not, I didn't go cold turkey with stop, you know, with biting the fingernails. It took me months, if not years. And I, and I found that <laughs> it took me even longer to get used to long nails because like they would get really long. And then I just found that, you know, trying to type and things, it was too much of a pain. So um, I would file them down. And now I'm slowly getting used to having longer nails. And so they're slowly getting longer, slowly getting longer and, and looking better, basically. So I guess that's really all that I wanted to say on this. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them in the comment section, comment section below, and uh, I would be happy to do videos. And I guess, so, as always, thanks for watching.